Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss how we can use 7 segment display in combination with NI USB 6009. So, let's start with some basics related to 7 segment display. In this diagram, you can see a 3 digit 7 segment display with common anode. We need to name these 7 segments using the alphabets. We will call the top horizontal LED as segment A then the vertical one as segment b this is segment c this is segment d this is segment e this is segment f and this is segment g we have another led which is a round led and this is a decimal point so we have three digits in this seven segment module we will name or we will call the rightmost digit as first digit the middle digit as second digit and the leftmost digit as third digit. So in this module we have 12 pins, 6 on the top and 6 at the bottom. We name these pins from 1 to 12 in this order. Pin 1 is the voltage supply which is 5 volt for third digit which is the leftmost digit in this module. Pin 2 is for providing the ground terminal or cathode to segment A of all three digits. So this one, this one and this one is the segment A. Then the pin 3 which is this one is to provide the ground for the segment F of all digits. So this is the segment F, this is segment F and this is segment F. Then we have pin 4 which is for providing the voltage supply for the second digit then we have the pin 5 which is for the voltage supply for first digit this is the first digit then we have pin 6 which is for providing ground to segment b so this is segment b of third digit this is segment b of second digit and this is segment b of first digit then we have the seventh pin which is at the bottom this is for providing the ground to segment e this is segment e then we have pin 8 which is for segment D. So this is segment D. Then we have pin 9 which is for providing the ground to decimal points. So these are three decimal points. Then we have pin 10 which is for providing the ground to segment C. So this, this one and this one is the segment C. Then we have pin 11 which is for providing the ground to segment G. So this middle horizontal LED is the segment G. This one, this one and this. Then we have pin 12 which is no connect. It means we are not going to connect anything with this pin of this module. So this is the three digit segment display with common anode and with all the required pin information and labeling. So if we want to turn on an LED, what we have to do? We have to provide a voltage supply and ground. So in a 7 segment display, we have total 8 LEDs. 3 horizontal LEDs. We have 4 vertical LEDs. And we have 1 round LED. In 7 segment display, which has more than 1 digit, so they comes in different configurations. The most commonly used configurations are common anode and common cathode this module which we are using in this video is a three digit seven segment display with common anode it means that it has separate voltage supply for each digit of seven segment display whereas it has common ground for corresponding leds or segments which are a b c d e f g and d p so this is the seven segment display module which we are going to use in this video so you can see that it has 12 pins 6 at the top and 6 at the bottom. We will only use the rightmost digit which is the first digit of this module in this video. So now we will place this module onto the breadboard in such a way that we can easily insert the wires to connect the pins. So now we will use the constant 5 volt supply and ground of NIUSP 6009 to verify the pins of 7 segment display module. So 
so we'll connect the NI USB 6009 with the commuter system so this is the pin number one this is pin two three four five and six and at the bottom we have pin seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so now what we will do we will attach or we will connect the five volt supply with the pin four of this module which is the anode of second digit so now we will attach the ground to the first pin so it's segment e second pin segment d third pin segment dp fourth pin segment c and fifth pin which is segment g so that is second pin which is segment a then we have third pin which is segment f and in the end we have sixth pin which is segment b now i'm using the third digit and c module or c segment that is second digit that is the first digit second third so now I'm, I'm changing the cathode and using the fifth pin which is for g this is third digit second digit and first digit the next step is to connect the jumper cables with the pins of seven segment module so i'm connecting blue wire with the pin six green wire with pin five yellow wire with pin four orange wire with pin three red wire to pin two and brown wire to pin one of this seven segment display so that is the upper set of pins so I will do the same with the lower set of pins. I will use six jumper cables to connect these six pins. So purple wire to the pin 12, gray wire to pin 11, white wire to pin 10, black wire pin 9, brown wire to pin 8, and once again red wire to pin 7. So now we will connect these wires with NI USB 6009 digital output channel. So what we will do we will connect the pin 5 which is for the first digit with the constant 5 volt supply of NI USB 6009. And then we will use the port 0 of this NI USB 6009, which has 8 pins, and connect all the 8 segments of first digit with the port 0 of NI USB 6009. This is the detailed wire diagram which shows how I connect this 3 digit 7 segment display with NI USB 6009. So, I used this port 0 which has 8 lines. I connect segment A with line 0, segment B with line 1, segment C with line 2, segment D with line 3, segment E with line 4, segment F with line 5, segment DP which is the decimal point with line 6 and segment G with line Seven. So these are the pins which are corresponding to these segments of this module. In addition to that, I used pin 5 which is the voltage supply to the third digit of three digit seven segment display and I connected this pin 5 with the constant 5 volt supply of NI USB 6009. So now we'll go to NI Max which is the device manager for 
National Instruments Hardware. Then we will go to Devices and Interfaces. We will select NI USB 6009 and go to the Test Panel. In the Test Panel, we will go to Digital Input Output and out of the available ports, we will select the port 0. So initially, high signal is given to all the segments of 7 segment display. That's why the 7 segment display is displaying nothing. But when we change the state of these pins from high to low, what will happen? The corresponding segment of the 7 segment display will turn on. The rightmost line is for segment A. Then we have segment B, C, D, E, F, decimal point, and G. For one, I will turn on segment B and C. For two, I will turn on segments A, B, D, E, and G. For 3, I will turn on A, B, C, D, and G. For 4, I will turn on segments B, C, F, and G. For 5, I will turn on segments A, C, D, F, and G. For 6, we need to turn on segments A, C, D, E, F, and G. For 7, we will turn on segments A, B, and C. For 8, we need to turn on all the segments except for decimal point. For 9, we will turn on segments A, B, C, D, F, and G. For 0, we will turn on segments A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now we will move to Live view for programming. In the block diagram, we will right click, then go to structures and select the case structure. Then we will go to front panel, modern category, and drop a numeric control. We will adjust the size of this numerical control so that you can easily view it on the screen. Next step is to attach this numeric control with the case structure. We will once again right click on the block diagram, go to express category and drop DAC assistant inside the case structure. Then we have to go to generate signals, digital output and select the port output. Out of the available ports, we have to select the port 0 and click finish button. Since we have to provide ground, so we have to invert all lines in port. Once again, we have to right click on the block diagram and select the false constant in the Boolean category. We will replicate these constants and drop eight of these constants on the screen for 
एट एल ई डीज और एट सेगमेंट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट डिजिट ऑफ थ्री डिजिट सेवन सेगमेंट मॉड्यूल देन वी विल गो टू अरे कैटेगरी एंड ड्रॉप अ बिल्ड अरे फंक्शन एंड एक्सटेंड इट सो दैट वी कैन अटैच द एट बुलियन कॉन्स्टेंट्स विद दिस बिल्ड अरे फंक्शन After that, we will go to Boolean category once again, and select array to number function. Then we will give the output of build array to this function. Once again, we will go to array category and drop build array function. Then we will connect the build array function to the input of DAC assistant. we will copy this whole code and paste it in zero default case then we have to replicate this case for each digit so what we will do we will go to case 1 right click at the border and duplicate case so we have to do this for all the numbers which we want to display on this Seven segment display. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So now we'll go to case zero. For zero, we have to turn on segments A, B, C, D, E, and F. For one, we have to turn on segments B and C. For two, we have to turn on segments A, B, D, E, and G. for 3 we have to turn on segments a b c d and g for 4 we have to turn on segments b c f and g for 5 we have to turn on segments a c d F and G. For six, we have to turn on segments A, C, D, E, F and G. For seven, we have to turn on segments A, B and C. For eight, we have to turn on all the segments. except decimal point for 9 we have to turn on a b c d f and g so now we will enclose the whole code inside a while loop so once again we will go to the boundary of case structure and add another case which is case 10 and then paste the whole code in case 10 so what we will do we will turn off all of these constants or make all of these constants as false and make this case default it means 
when a user enter any number other than 0 to 9 what will happen the LED will turn off so you can see that the program is working fine and when we change the number in the front panel the same number appears in the seven segment display the first digit of seven segment display and if we enter number greater than nine seven segment display is turned off thank you very much for watching this video in the next video we will discuss how we can use more than one digit of seven segment display in a single program thank you very much